Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what's going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we'll pray through today's prayer together. Providing for your family is a top priority. But what happens when you need affordable health care? Christian Healthcare Ministries could save you up to 40% today. As a member, you can choose your provider without network restrictions. Sign up at your convenience with our anytime enrollment. Join a Christian community that supports each other's medical expenses, offering peace of mind as you prioritize what's most important. Enroll now at yourchm.org. Anticipated rock holiday tradition returns. Trans Siberian Orchestra live in concert. Coming to a city near you. A legendary blend of rock, classical, and holiday music for the entire family. Don't miss Trans Siberian Orchestra live in concert. The Ghosts of Christmas Eve. Go to TSOTickets.com for info. A prayer for when you're asked the hard questions during the holidays by Molly Law, read by Leah Martin. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29, 11 and 13. Thanksgiving and Christmas are possibly the only times when every family member can come together and finally catch up. Although this can be a joyous time seeing one another, there might be some questions that can go too far. For the younger generation, life changes at warp speed. Milestones seem to happen almost every week. So, well-intended parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles want to know everything that's going on in their lives. However, the things they may wish to know, could point out a very painful reality. Since we see some family members only once a year, they don't know the intricate details of what's happened to us throughout the year, or us them. It's not entirely their fault. For many people, society's laid out a very clear-cut outline for life, college, career, marriage, children, etc. Our culture has defined those milestones and the ages in which they should be met for a happy and successful life, especially for Christians. As the family comes around the Thanksgiving table, a young married couple may be asked by a well-meaning aunt, when do they think they'll start a family? And unbeknownst to her, the young wife may have had a miscarriage in July, and for four months the couples had one negative pregnancy test after another. After the holidays, they plan on seeing a fertility specialist. But at this moment... How do they answer this after being put on the spot in front of half a dozen people? Christmas is my favorite holiday. I love everything about it. The colors, the songs, the food, and the carefree feeling it evokes within me. But it can also be a very painful time, as every year I pray for my future spouse. Yet every Christmas, I find myself once again alone. As the only single member of my family, my love life becomes an easy topic of conversation. I've become an easy target as I've chosen not to comply with cultural mandated milestones that some family members see as a failure. In adulthood, I've lived up to my own standards of becoming independent, chasing my dreams, and finding who I am apart from my family and any romantic ties. Although I am very happy on my own, there are times I desire to be married. The holidays seem to be the one time of year that exasperates the fact that I am not, especially when a family member shines a spotlight on it. My prayer 
is for everyone who is dealing with unfulfilled dreams and life expectancies and the family members who bring it up during the holidays. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this time of year to celebrate the birth of your son and ruminate on all your many blessings throughout the year. Thank you for our families and this time of coming together and catching up. I pray for everyone this holiday season. I pray that no matter what we're all going through, that we remain aware of the sensitivity of some conversations. I pray that this year, we don't wait until the holidays to catch up, that we make an effort to pick up the phone and check in. I pray we'll choose to share our lives with our family, if that's a healthy relationship to pursue. Be with us, Father, as all of us are going through something. Be with our heart's desires and dreams that they reflect your will and bring glory to you and only you. I pray that we show one another grace and allow our family members to choose what they want to share with us. Give us comfort and peace when a deep hurt is revealed in a casual manner. I pray that this holiday season is filled with love, laughter, and joy with those around us. We love and trust you with all our hearts, our Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. This, this is my skyship dreamer. My cargo is stories, and our destination, dreams. With Abide Sleep Stories for Kids, you can help your children fall asleep fast and learn about God. To find these kids' bedtime stories, go to lifeaudio.com or search your favorite podcast app for Abide Stories for Kids. You can also download the Abide app for more biblical meditations at abide.com.